Okay, back for another video, but guess what? I have my mother-in-law here. Sonia is here. She's so happy to be here. We had a lot of fun trying to get ready for this. Today, we're talking about kind of vintage cutlery from, what's the home country? Germany. Germany. Okay, so let's start. This is stuff that's been passed down through the family from your mom. Mm -hmm. So Dirk's Alma. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a couple of pieces. These are breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast fork and knife. Yeah, so they're kind of smaller than what we than might use here. Knife. Very pretty though, very pretty detail. You can see in the front and back. So, do, 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 do. Okay, we'll put those over there. Mm -hmm. So now, by contrast, if you want to do these, these are a lot bigger. Look at these big boys. Anyway, super heavy, thick handles, beautifully made, all shined up. Um, for dinner. Yeah, so for your formal dinner. Okay, we'll put those over here. Now we have two of these little guys. What are these? What are these guys? One's pointed and one's kind of round. What's the pointy one? This is one? a cheese knife. Cheese knife to cut the cheese, yeah. And this is a butter knife. <laughs> Butter knife, so it's nice. Got a like lob of butter on the end, so very nice. I don't even know if we make these here. I don't even know. I don't even know if anyone uses them anymore. But we're going to show you how to use this cutlery. So now we have a gazillion spoons. So here's soup spoon. Soup spoon. This is heavy. Uh, I figure it could also be a paddle in an emergency. It's pretty big. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now we have this roundish spoon, but it's got, if you look carefully, a little wee notch here and here. And this is the for potato knife. The, the, potato, the potato, potato spoon, spoon for your cartoffon. Cartoffon. Right. Mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Want some? Here you go. Okay. Okay. There. So next, bigger and bigger. This vegetable spoon. Vegetable. This is for cultivating the whole field. Yeah, it's that big. These are heavy. I mean, these are a workout to lift. Is this too? So what's this one? Also a veggie yes, spoon? Yes. So kind of just a different shape. So many shapes. All right. Very cool. Very heavy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we don't have this much variety here. Okay. What about, what do you want to do next? These? What about this thing? Asparagus. Asparagus. It's a thing to keep your asparagus. Uh, oh, here. Can I use an example? Keep your, put your, you serve your asparagus like this. There you go. If you're bored after, you can make a little sound. So I've never seen one of these before. I mean, these are made in Germany. So I don't know if the Brits or anyone else has made these, but this is your asparagus lifter. Okay, so we'll put this over here. And then what about this little wee 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 guy with only two tines? What's this little guy for? Is he for sliced meat? Pickles or oh, meat? Pickles, yes. meat. Little wee guy. Pickled meat fork. Okay, so I like him. Uh, I like saying the word tine. I think it's cool the way tine, you can spell it with an I or a Y, but spelling's another topic. Okay, so the little wee wee guy. Now what about this little one? This is a delicate little spoon. Gravy. And so you're like a gravy, gravy ladle. ladle. Yeah, so it's your little ladle. Anyway, so this is really cute for the sauces and gravies. It's very pretty. And then, oh, and that's one of the pugs barking. Now, this is a Barbie shovel, right? Barbie shovel? <laughs> this is a sugar scoop. Sugar spoon or scoop, scoop. okay, scoop. with the square end. Oh, I stand corrected. It's Chloe barking. Okay. So this is cool because it has that square edge on it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we'll put that one over there. And these two little guys are so cake cake and what's like a little wee teaspoon yes teaspoon dessert or, spoon if you eat ice cream then you use this one so i would never use this for eating ice cream pass me that biggest one over there it's like, for ice cream. this would be mine <laughs> this would be my mother-in-law so there's audrey sonia there we go um and in case you didn't notice this earlier this is a three-timed dessert fork and of course, it's got this secret weapon on the side here for cutting your cake, your kuchen. Kuchen, yes, kuchen. kuchen. Okay, so put him over there with the friends. 
And then still with the, I think we're still in dessert. Of course, we, we've we seen these before. Cake lifter. But cake lifter. So these are complete, thorough sets. They think of everything. This service, usually they come for what, 12 people? Like there's yes, enough yes. of these for 12? I think ours come in like six. So, I'm, I mean, we have two of these, so, because you can't have too much cake, right? Okay. And we have one piece left, which... I call is the secret weapon when you're in a dark a, alley, but I'm sure it's... This is the cake knife. This is the cake knife. The Germans take their cakes very seriously. So, <laughs> yes, yeah. <you> so, <laughs> so, if you're alone in a dark alley, it works. But, hey, if you have a kuchen to cut, this is the beast that you want. So, this is our first video together, mm -hmm. and guess what? We're going to make another one after okay. this. Okay. But for now, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Take care. Okay, bye. <laughs>